But there's uh, a, another uh, meaning to me as well, because um, if you look at Sun Tzu's The Art of War, um, it's a military theorist, Mr. Sun Tzu, who said, speed is the essence of war and take advantage of the enemy's unpreparedness. Travel by unexpected routes and strike him where he has taken no precautions. So uh, the thing in military operations is that we have to think in terms of risks. By definition, you will never know enough of the enemy uh, to be sure of success in battle. So if after one day of war, 30% of the people is dead, 40% of the material is broken, and you're almost out of ammunition, um, then you can either surrender, or if you don't want to do that, uh, you cannot stop the war because of the fact that it becomes too risky. So uh, the second day of the war will come. And uh, their trust comes into play because your whole brigade, battalion, crew of the ship, uh, squadron will know that as well, that the risks are going up. And why are they still following you? First of all, <clears throat> for the higher goal, which is to defend the nation or to... And that's important. That's very important. But uh, in the end, it is very often much smaller because it is they, they look at their commanding officer, who they hopefully trust. And he will then say, follow me, and they will go into the next day of the war. Now, this whole concept of um, thinking in terms of risk is difficult in a society which is almost a zero-risk society by now, in our present society, uh, where we actually do not accept any risk anymore. Um, and the pandemic, the COVID-19 pandemic, has shown that there are still things that you cannot prepare for, that there are still things that basically are suddenly there, like uh, droughts, like wildfires, like um, terrible storms, things that are, you know, are uncontrollable. And still you then have to deal with them. And the military, the role of the military in the COVID-19 pandemic was very often to restart organizations again in hospitals, in care homes, in um, food banks, uh, because basically with all the regulations and rules that are there in our society and control mechanisms and what have you, there's a very little path on which they can walk and do their work. And suddenly they were basically not on that path, but they were next to it. And they said, we can't do our work anymore. And then we came in and said, so where do you want to go? Yeah, there. Okay, then go there. Yeah, but that's not on the path. Yeah, forget about the path. It's a crisis. Do it. Because that's what we do in a war. There is no rules. There is no plan. There is no. There is chaos. And in chaos, we have to uh, function. And that's basically what we did. We took them by the hand and we started walking. And then after a while, they thought, hey, it's actually possible. There's no one arresting us. There's no one. We don't have a fine because we're not on this little path. And we, and then we said, good luck. And we went to the next hospital or the next care home or the next. So the, the, that skill um, is, is, is something we, we know and we have to know because of the nature of war.